the EFF is the most united party. We, I mean, our leadership, that's why I say to, with organizations where there's so much disunity, how do you unite a country if you can't unite your own party? We are united not because of friendship. We are united because we are single-minded in pursuing the struggle to liberate the poor people and for equality in this country. And because we, we are robust, you know, uh, and sometimes when we debate and, and differ, you would think that we are fighting the next minute we're, we're, but that's because it's not a personal thing it's not if Vuyo disagrees with me I don't think oh well Vuyo wants to take my position or whatever it's because I think Vuyo probably is more overzealous about getting our people to get to freedom quicker so there's no there are no issues actually we're much closer as a leadership uh, but unfortunately our term comes to an end uh, at the end of this year where we will be having a national conference and it will be up to the branches of the EFF to decide as to what happens next but in these five years as Buta has, made, has really created us as a, as a unit and that's why we were able to deploy each other into different provinces and uh, we were not just reliant on the uh, EFF president we were able to run with particular provinces and do our, our own thing there but at the same time consulting we talk to each other about 20 times on the phone you know we, we criticize each other uh, we so some of other. the unflattering comments he made about you were in that spirit no, no, there were, uh, there were no unflattering comments. It was the truth. It's not flattering or unflattering. What you are saying, which is true, is that we, uh, some of us, a person like me, there's uh, other people who are medical doctors and so on. Because of the, because unlike them, who are full-time employees of parliament, I, I have a, a different uh, professional life. And that uh, brings uh, particular challenges.